So some exciting news. I found out last week, last Friday, that I was on the final roster for the knife class beginning this upcoming Friday. So this Friday is going to be Friday, March 26th. And finding out about a week before the class is starting is a pretty typical time span. And the reason that it's not earlier than that is because they do start working on the rosters much earlier than that. But week to week, the status of individuals change a lot. So it's not finalized until the week before. And that's when you will get the email. Because I was working in flight management, I already knew that I was going to be in this class. But if you aren't working in flight management and you're kind of wondering like where you're at in the pipeline, they do post a... It's called a ready to go report. So they post that once a week outside of the flight management office. And what you'll see on the ready to go report is it's everyone who's in April waiting to start knife. And it's split up into the training wing that you requested to go to after you finish knife. So training wing four, five, and six. And if you're missing from that list, basically it just means that either you haven't completed all of the prerequisites to begin knife. So that could include running your A-pit or water survival, things like that. Or it could mean um, maybe that you're like on a med hold status, something like that. But if you do look at the ready to go report and you're pretty sure that you should be on it, but you're not, um, then definitely let flight management know and they can cross check their information. It's totally possible that something may have gotten lost or maybe just didn't save in your file. So it's showing up that you're not ready to go. So definitely consistently check on that report. Like I said, if you were not working in flight management and you're not there all the time to kind of monitor your status. So anyways, back to starting class. So like I said, I got the email uh, about a week before my class date. In the email, it will tell you that you have to show up for a flight gear issue the Thursday before your class is starting. So like my class is starting this Friday, March 26th. I have to go in to pick up my gear on Thursday, March 25th. And the most important thing about that is when you go to do your flight suit fitting, which probably would have been weeks before this, you get this little gear issue card and this has all of your sizing on it. And it also has a signature from the person who sized you. So without this card, you are not going to be able to pick up your gear. So when you go to your flight suit fitting, do not lose this card, put it somewhere where, um, you know, it's not going to get ruined. You're not gonna forget where it is. I mean, I suggest your wallet. I think I actually just kept mine in like the glove box of my car because I never really use my glove box. But yeah, this is very important. They will also give you this sheet, very helpful sheet. Um, I know you can't read it from that far away. It basically just tells you all of the items that you need to pick up from the Unishop. Blah, 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 blah. All of the items you need to pick up from the uniform shop before your gear issue. Oh, okay, we are not focused anymore. Hello. And you can go to two places to get all of this stuff. You can obviously either go to the next on base, go to the uniform. Why can I not say uniform? You can go to the uniform shop on base, or you can go to this place called Wings and Things. It's a little tiny shop right outside base, so it's it's before the main gate. And a lot of people get their stuff tailored there. I picked up all my stuff from there just because a lot of people suggested it. I honestly don't know if it's cheaper than base or not. Maybe it's the same price. I don't know. Maybe I should have looked into that. But people <laughs> suggested that I go to Wings and Things. So I went there to get all this stuff. And it's super easy because they already know everything you need. So you just walk in and tell them, hey, I'm um, about to start my knife class. I'm just coming in to pick up my patches. And they say, oh, okay, yeah, I got you. They literally gave me this entire bundle, put it in a li little uh, Ziploc bag and said, okay, it's, it came out to like $38 or something like that. And then once you get all of your flight gear, you should immediately either go back to Wings and Things where they also do tailoring or just take it to the tailor on base. 
so that they can sew on your ranks. And it's a few weeks ahead of the time that you need it because you won't be wearing your flight suit until I think like a month into school. But of course, the earlier the better. You never know when the uniform shop is gonna be backed up or if they lose any of your stuff. Another thing that I forgot to mention when picking up your patches, so you'll also need two name tapes. These can be any name tapes. They just need to sew them onto your gear bags. So I already had two extra name tapes from my NWUs. This one is clearly, I like used it on my old NWUs. This one is like brand spanking new. But wings and things or the uniform shop on base, they can obviously order these for you as well. But honestly, if you have two pairs of NWUs, the fact of the matter is once you get through classes, you are probably never going to wear NWUs again. You will only be wearing your flight suit. So if you wanted, you could probably just like cut the name tapes off of one of your NWU bottoms, one of your NWU tops. Just saying. Okay, so I will be back to talk with you guys tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow after I do my gear issue. And then again on Friday after my like class meeting, intro to class meeting. Hey guys, it is Thursday. I just had my appointment to pick up all of my gear. There was a ton of it. You just get like a big um, flight bag of gear, flight suits, helmet, gloves, all that fun stuff. And then just so I could get it done and out of the way, I immediately took everything that needed to get tailored to wings and things. Eventful morning, I guess. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go have a snack and then work out. And I'll see you tomorrow when we have our first knife class meeting. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Hello, happy Friday. I'm sorry if you hear my AC going, but I'm filming in my car and it is so hot. I need some airflow while I do this. I just got back from our class meeting. Definitely took a lot longer than I thought took like three, four hours. So when you go to your class meeting and bring a snack, I did not. Uh, we basically just met our class officer. So that's the person that you go to for any issues that you face during your time in knife. We also just got some quick briefs from other important people such as the CO of Schools Command, the chaplain, and someone from like the uh, fleet and family services. So we got all of our course material. These are all the books. So we got engines, aero, weather, flight rules and regs, and navigation. Navigation is by far the thickest. And then we also got a map for navigation. So my initial reaction I'm obviously a little bit nervous. I think everyone who goes through this is nervous and they should be at least just a little bit. Mostly excited, just just kind of done with the waiting game. Um, I'm not worried, like there's really no part of me that's worried about being able to pass this stuff. I know it's just gonna take a lot of, not only just a lot of studying, but finding ways to like motivate yourself to put in the hours to study because it's not, from what I've heard, it's not super hard content, but it's a lot fast. So for some people that brute memorization is difficult and you just have to find a way to push through and put in the time to, to really nail it down. We also got our schedule for next week. So we already have our first exam the first week well, kind of the first week. So usually the aero exam would be the Friday of your first week, but because we only have a four day week next week, it's going to be on the following Monday. I can definitely tell that you need to use the time to get ahead when you can. So this weekend, I'm not gonna like lock myself in my room and study, but I'm definitely going to go through hopefully most of the aero book. It's pretty small pretty small. So I think that is very doable. And then so next week, it'll be 
more like a review for Arrow for me. And then I will move on to a little bit more of engines next week because I think that's what they said the next one is. Yeah, then it's engines. I'm also gonna go get a few binders. Five binders for each class. Yeah, yeah, I can count five. So, that is the Friday check-in for ya. I think I'm just gonna take this week and merge it with next week instead of making like week zero and week one. <laughs> I think that makes more sense. So that is it for Friday. I will be back on Monday, maybe update you a little bit on what I did for the weekend and what the first day of classes were like. Hey guys, so it's Monday. Just finished classes for the day. Um, if you're wondering why I look so red, it's because I'm literally sitting in my car with the heat blasting because it is so cold in our building. I was just like shivering the entire time. So I'm trying to warm up and it's like 70 degrees out. So I feel ridiculous. So I guess I'll update you on what I did this weekend. So I went through every single chapter of every book and I typed out the learning objectives so that that way, whenever I get to that chapter, it's easy and I can just pull up the Word document and um, type out my answers. And then I also got through the first two chapters of Arrow and then the first two chapters of Engines. So I think before I said that I wanted to get through the entire Arrow book and that was before I realized that we were also doing Engines this week. So the Arrow book was four chapters and I got through four chapters this weekend so I kind of did what I said you know we only have two classes this whole week so like week to week your schedule changes this week we have aerodynamics in the morning from like 10 to 12 each day and then we have engines from like 13 30 or 2 until 15 30 or uh, 16 so pretty easy this week and usually classes aren't pushed back this late in the day but they're trying to get people to go to the clinic at 08 to get their COVID shot so they push back all of the classes but I think typically your classes will be like from 8 to 10 and then like 10 30 to 12 30 and then you're done um, I'm not sure but we'll see as if we go on week to week what happens and for this week my plan for studying is to Try to get to base around seven o'clock anyways even though we don't start class until later this week but when i was in college i would always just try to get onto campus earlier than my class and i would study for a few hours before my classes started and yeah that just helped me in college so i'm going to do the same thing for right now and then once i get home i will probably do a little bit of studying like maybe a review or something but i don't want to do too much I want to kind of like give my brain a rest after going throughout the day so a little bit of studying and then I will work out eat and then I will continue to do the bulk of my studying after that once we move back to earlier classes around like eight o'clock I don't really know how I'm gonna plan that out but we'll see hello guys I just got back from day two of this week we pretty much had the same schedule as yesterday so we had arrow from 10 to 12 30 so i think that was off by like 30 minutes today and then we had engines from 13 30 to 15 30 i think and the rest of the week i think i said this yesterday but the rest of the week that schedule pretty much stays the same just sometimes it um pushes to the left or the right 30 minutes. The material is going pretty fast this week, but it is mainly because our class is unique where this upcoming Friday is Good Friday, so we actually have Friday off, whereas normally Friday would be our first exam. So what Arrow and Engines are both doing is they're trying to finish up the entire books Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday they can both do a review session because our aero test is going to be next Monday and then our engines test is going to be next Tuesday. So I think this break is to our disadvantage. Um, that's just like a lot of time to not be in class, but it's okay. Still get through it. 
So last night for studying, what did I do? I got through two more chapters of each book, maybe two chapters in one and then one chapter in another. But I got through, this was like the largest engines chapter. So that took up most of my time. Um, the rest of the chapters in the books are pretty short. So I actually think that tonight I will be able to get through the rest of engines and maybe one more of arrow. But I think I'm going to put my focus on engines tonight. And I want to be realistic with you guys, let you know um, what my schedule is like. My voice said like a weird thing there. <clears throat> let you know what my schedule is like so that you can kind of know what to anticipate so last night i got home i took like a few minute just decompressing break um you know unpacked my bag changed clothes and then i got right back into studying and then once i hit a point where i needed another break i went and i worked out for like 45 minutes or an hour came back and then i ate dinner and studied more that sounds really overwhelming but Luckily, I'm actually enjoying the content that I'm studying, so I'm finding that I don't have to like convince myself to study or force myself to study, which is really refreshing because I won't say a lot of my classes in college, but you know, those classes that I really did not enjoy in college and I had to make myself study for them, it was just unbearable. So it is really nice that this is material that I like. I hope you like it. You should. It's going to be what your career is. So that should be motivation enough. And then this morning, I woke up at 6 because I went to bed a little bit later last night. I went to bed at 11. So I still wanted to get 7 hours of sleep. So I was in bed from 11 to 6. Woke up at 6. Studied a little bit at my house just so I could like drink my coffee and you know just slowly get my morning started so I studied a little bit here and then after I got to a stopping point here I got ready and went to base and continued studying before my class so yeah that is my Tuesday of week one I will see you again tomorrow for day three Wednesday and I'm just remembering that I have to film freaking transitions for this vlog. <laughs> Alright guys, bye. Hey guys, it is actually Thursday, but I forgot my camera yesterday. So we are just going to pretend that it's Wednesday in 3, 2, 1. Hey guys, it is Wednesday. Just got done with classes for the day. Again, we had Arrow from 10 to 12 and then engines from one two three I think yeah what did I do for studying last night last night I finished the arrow book so the last chapter last few chapters and then I also read two more chapters of engines I did not work out last night just did not feel up to it later this afternoon I'm going to meet with a study group so there is there's four of us in the group and we're going to meet and basically just go over all of the topics in aerodynamics. So what's really great about these books that you get is they have objectives, like learning objectives in the front of each chapter. And as long as you know those objectives, you are probably going to do well on the exams. So we are basically just going to sit around and ask each other the learning objectives go through them, talk about them. And then tonight for studying, I'm probably not going to do anything else with Arrow tonight just because, like I said, I'm going to go to that study group and then I will finish the engines book, which we'll go over in class tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow on Thursday, which is actually our Friday because Friday is Good Friday. So we don't have anything scheduled for the day. Hey guys, so I just finished Thursday classes which is basically finishing this week because tomorrow's good friday we don't have class tomorrow again we had arrow from 10 to 12 and then engines was from 1 to 4 that's what it was scheduled for so we had an extra hour today but we finished all of the material in two and a half hours so last night i mentioned that i was going to go to a study group so i did and that honestly i think i was there for like an hour and a half it was really efficient we just 
went over all of those learning objectives that I talked about and like really fast just one person answered it moved on to the next person it was a good review because we could talk through things if one of us didn't understand so if you do get a study group which you should definitely recommend making it as short as possible because you all also have to go back home and study on your own and do the next readings so you don't want to waste everyone's time by you know making your study review session horseplay so it was it's nice that we were able to get it down nice and quick down and dirty i am going to make a like review guide for arrow tonight and then that will probably be it for studying for me tonight um just to kind of rest a little bit and go get a good workout in so i said that tomorrow we don't have class because it's good friday but actually what our engines teacher is offering is they will be at the museum on base at 10 tomorrow we show up he can walk us through the museum and do like a hands-on engines tour so that's usually something that they incorporate in your actual engines class but since we had a shortened week we didn't have that extra day we didn't have time for it so that's why he's just offering it tomorrow so i'm pretty sure that all of our class is going anyways you know it's not required but i think it'll be good to see the part you know be able to correlate the things we've been learning and studying to physical things hopefully you will get really good officers that are coming through at the time and really want you to succeed I've heard of some officers teaching these courses and just not doing a very good job not not caring about their students as much and it's unfortunate because it, it's still on you to get through the curriculum and pass the exams but right now I would say that we are very fortunate and this week especially we have two really great officers teaching our classes and they kind of give us like hints along the way of hey do you need to know this for the test you need to know this for an exam question <laughs> So that is it. Maybe I will take you guys along tomorrow on the museum tour. That would mean I would have to film in front of people. I don't know how comfortable I am with that yet. <laughs> um, we'll see. We'll see. tour with our engines instructor it was actually really cool I hadn't been to this museum yet we didn't spend a ton of time in there really just like an hour um, going over the stuff relevant to engines class I definitely want to get back here when I have a little more time on my hands and can just like take a few hours to really take it all in maybe come here with my parents or anyone who wants to visit me and that was basically our review for today so I'm not gonna do any more engines today I'm going to go home and review some more arrow I haven't quite finished making my study sheet for it so I'll kind of finish that up and then just have a quick reference sheet to review I don't feel awful about arrow I feel pretty good um, it's just I want to get that like constant review in so that I don't have to spend a whole lot of time thinking because the tests are only 50 minutes long for 50 multiple choice, which I say only, but that really is a lot of time. Not a lot of time if you have to really think through every question. So I want to mitigate that. That's why I'm just trying to focus on this like continuous reviewing. So I think this whole weekend it really isn't going to be super stressful with studying. I'm just kind of going to sort of relax, sort of enjoy myself but also put in a couple hours a day just to review. I got up at seven this morning just to like sleep in a little bit, felt very nice. And then I wanted to edit, I wanted to finish up this video. So I was editing 
pretty much up to this point. I did a 20 minute Peloton ride and then a 20 minute Peloton upper body. And lately, just because of the time constraints I have with like, studying and going to class and all that, you know, I want to maximize my studying time, but I also want to have that time to go to the gym and let off some steam. But I have really been primarily doing those just quick short Peloton classes because it gets me like a specified time to be in the gym. Whereas if I just went into our apartment gym, then I could be there for an hour, hour and a half, who knows. Thank you guys for watching. I know this video is a little long because I included a little bit of the week prior. So hopefully not all of them will be this long. I'll try to keep it just nice and short for you. Let me know in the comments what you liked about this video, what you didn't, what you would like to see more of, what you would like to see less of. You'd probably like to see less of me sitting down in front of the camera. Unfortunately, there's just not a lot else going on for me to film. <laughs> So hopefully as the weeks progress, I'll have more fun things to be able to film for you guys. So yeah, that was week one, and I'll see you next week for week two.